Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Addy Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 awesome things that your iPhone can do and you probably didn't know about. These are like hidden features that are very, very useful and you should use them on your iPhone. If you didn't know about them, learn about them now and you will use them on your iPhone because they will make your life easier using your iPhone. And of course you will have a much better experience and it will have like a few different tricks to perform a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff easier and faster on your iPhone. So here are 10 things that your iPhone can do that you probably didn't know about. The first one is a keyboard trick. On your keyboard, if you want to add like a symbol, you will have to go here to the numbers, you will have numbers, then you will have all the different symbols, let's say here the dollar sign, so you want to add dollars, you can do that from here, but what if you, if you want to add the symbol of another currency, then you will have to go and tap right here and switch to another keyboard in order to find other currencies, you will have like three others right here. But you can also just tap and hold the dollar sign, and it will show you way more different currencies right there. Now this doesn't just work with that one, it works also with others like the dot right here, you can add the dot, or you can add three dots, just swipe like that, or you have the forward slash, you can tap and hold and add the backward slash. So basically everything here has like different options. So if you tap and hold on any of the symbols, you can see here, it will show you way more other symbols like the question mark. It will show you that other question mark facing downwards. So basically all the stuff here has like other alternatives. All you gotta do is just tap and hold on them. And it will show you all the other alternatives. Next, we're gonna talk about assistive touch. Now this is a very neat feature and it has a ton of potential. It has a lot of features that you can use, which probably you never did because most people use it as a home button. On the iPhones with a broken home button, that's what we use to get to the home button, to the home screen and to the app switcher. But assistive touch can be used for a lot more things. So here I'm on the home screen, I have assistive touch here. I want to take a screenshot. I can just tap on the assistive touch and as you can see it will take a screenshot or I can go ahead and long press it and it will lock my device as easy as that I can lock my device so if you can add a ton of different features or I can double tap right there it will take me to the app switcher double tap on the assistive touch takes me to the app switcher that's really cool now let's go to accessibility and let's go to touch and here we have assistive touch so here you will have custom actions when you go to assistive touch you will have different like gestures single tap double tap long press and 3d touch so you can go ahead and choose here from different actions you can see there is a lot of actions that you can choose here so from like restart shake shake to undo open siri sos speak screen open the spotlight search voice control you have the app switcher you have accessibility shortcut you can open of course the menu you can mute the device every one of these actions can be performed with a single touch on the assistive touch button so you will have like double tap you tap twice as you can see right there that i went to the app switcher then you can long press and then you can 3d touch as well so it will have four different actions that you can add to your assistive touch menu now another cool new feature of assistive touch this one is for ios 13 only is that you can also launch shortcuts using assistive touch so if you go to assistive touch you go to customize top level menu right here you can go ahead and pick any of the buttons and then you can go ahead and run any of the Siri shortcuts now if you go here and you don't see Siri shortcuts right here just make sure you go back you enable and disable assistive touch and then you go back here and you should see all the shortcuts right there so you can see i had twitter there on a shortcut and basically what i can do here is from the assistive touch menu i can launch twitter just like that so now the bad thing is that i don't like about launching app is apps is that it will just show you this pop-up asking you to run but anyway it will run that app so any of the shortcuts that you have on your shortcuts app can be run from the assistive touch menu or if you want to just launch an app, you can create one just by going to the shortcuts app and just basically create a simple shortcut to launch an app. And a good thing is that you can also use it to launch like apps from the lock screen. 
from the assistive touch menu here from the lock screen i can go ahead and quickly open twitter that's really really cool and of course very useful as well on the email app on ios 13 you will have the ability to attach files from the files app not just photos or videos you can attach any file you want so you go to type a new menu you tap this arrow right here and you will see this button right there that's the files app and from here it will show you some recent files and also it will it will show you your tagged files right there but you can tap on see all and then you will be able to basically browse your files app from here so just like that you can see all the files and you can add any files like here i have a song i can go ahead tap on it and i can add it as, as an attachment to my email or right here that's really really cool and very convenient for you to email any attachments that you want from the keyboard on your iphone here on the mail app and also you will have the ability to move the attachment here on the email so if you want to place it somewhere else you can just go ahead tap and drag it and place it anywhere you want on the text now something really cool you can do on the photos app is create like a memory a mini movie out of a folder basically an album that you have on your photos app like you know those memories that ios will automatically create for you you can create one yourself by using an album so just go to an album tap on the name of the album right there as you can see right here we'll have it ready to go you can go ahead and create this memory out of the pictures that are within that album as easy as that you can go ahead and create it from here and of course you can also make it shorter medium you can go ahead and of course edit it directly from here and as always you will be able to share it here or save it as a video when ios will create a memory for you on your photos app with all your pictures and all that stuff now of course you might like it you might not not like it the way ios has created that and the pictures that it has selected for you but what you can do is go ahead and edit that so just go to any memory that ios has created for you tap on the edit button right there and you will be able to edit that memory so from here once you tap on the edit button it will show you everything about it so the title you can go ahead and edit the title that will be shown on the video you will have the title image so an image is picked as basically the thumbnail of that movie you can go ahead and change that pick any one of the pictures that are on that movie and then of course you can go ahead go to photos and videos and you can basically right here remove or add any pictures that you want to that basically to that movie and then you will have the music here you can go ahead and switch the music edited right here and then also you have the duration of the movie which you can go ahead and set right here the exact duration that you want that movie to last now this next feature i have discovered basically by accident just playing around with my iphone here so you can see this picture right here let's take this as an example now you can see basically the thumbnail right there of the picture doesn't show the full picture so when you're selecting pictures so maybe you want to delete these you can't see actually the full picture you want to delete so while their pictures are selected you want to be sure if you want to delete that you can just force touch on it and it will show you a full preview of the full picture so when the picture is selected just three to touch on it and you will be able to see the full picture before you can delete it or move it anywhere on the emoji keyboard on your ios device of course you can move like this which will be very slow or you can just switch between different categories but you can also just touch one of them and hold and then you can swipe like this you can see how fast you can move through your emojis so just tap on one of them and then just go ahead and slide your finger and you will be able to quickly move between your emojis so you don't have like the three to touch because that will go to the trackpad you just tap and slide like this on the camera app of your iphone you probably know that when you're taking a picture you can swipe up and it will show you all the different filters right here that you can apply to your pictures so basically you can see live here how the filters will look 
on your pictures. But what you might not know that is when you choose like a filter, you can go ahead and 3D touch on it and it will remove all the other ones and it will show you just the original one and the one that you're using. So you can see right there it shows just two filters so you can quickly switch between them and see whether you like that filter or you better like the original picture. And a very, very useful feature of iOS that I don't see a lot of people using, maybe not even know about, is that you can go ahead and search for any word. So just select a word, you can tap look up right there, and it will look up that word for you. So you will have basically from the dictionary, to Siri knowledge, to iTunes store, everything with that word included will be shown right here. So you can see all the stuff here series suggested websites you will have web videos and all that you will have the app store of course searching for that word and you can of course just tap search web and it will search like safari for that particular word as easy as that you can look up any word like on any app on ios so that's basically it for this video guys these are 10 things that you probably didn't know that your iphone can do i hope you guys learned some new tricks today i hope you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one